Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to another episode of Ultra Macross Gacha videos. This time round, we have Min Mei's wedding dress to look forward to. Hopefully, <laughs> that depends on how much luck has returned for my account of Ultra Macross. So let's dive into the Gacha page and take a look at the her brand new episode plate and see how it actually fares. All right, so let's take a look. Oh. Immediately we're on the last page, and there is no special notes attached to it. Uh, but that's okay, if the total stats and the skills are decent enough, it still might fare to be pretty good. So let's take a look at the total score first. Wow! Okay, so 3850, a pretty good total score. Um, but wait! The center skill is missing text. So, just like Cheryl's first ever episode plate to be only a live skill support, I guess Min Mace is following that suit as well. So let's take a look at the rest of the skills, or rather the only skill it might have. Um, but first off, let's mention that yes, this episode plate focuses on voice, which is basically what um, the current event song needs, I suppose. And of course, let's pay attention to the three other divas who are equipable with this episode plate, which might be what you need, especially if you're the kind of player who only focuses on a particular diva. Alright, so let's move on to the next page. And there it is! The double S rank skill. It allows you to... Ooh! Apparently you will have an easier time tapping notes at the same time you're boosting score. Which is fantastic! To be honest, um, we need more life skills like this because most of the time um, life skill episode plates do not need to be used as a center skill episode plate uh, unless you know sometimes the events require you to do so but the main point about this event right now it's all about getting a good high score so that you can beat your opponent's high score um, whatever you know is calculated by the player's rank. Um, I guess I would I wouldn't say it's a rank. It's it's more like a you know a high score grading that you personally have achieved for yourself. Um, so yeah. So with that said, you know this life skill is definitely handy um, because you know it. Re well, it basically reactivates itself because it comes with a repeat high, sc uh, repeat score ability. So after every thirty seconds, it reactivates itself. Then of course you get that four seconds um, worth of you know easy tapping notes and seven seconds worth of eighty percent boost in score. So fantastic, fantastic stuff. Uh, aside from the wonderful life skill and the total high score. I mean, the high total score on this episode plate. Uh, you know, of course, it comes with Mid May's brand new Angel Bright costume points, which is very, very crucial, especially if you're a person who are, well, if you're a collector of sorts who like to collect costumes for your the divas within the game itself. If you just need to have everything completed, your completionist, that kind of stuff. And of course, yes, this episode plate is definitely a must have within your collection, uh, aside from it being a very wonderful plate for high score purposes. So yes, if you're a Min Mei fan, I have, well, you know what to do, you definitely need to get this plate, well, try at least, depending on your luck, and of course, how much money you have available in your wallet. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna do just a single time plate pool on this. Because I would like to conserve as much singing stones as possible for next month's seven star episode play. I'm just praying it's not Ranka quite just yet, because um, my wallet is kind of a mess right now. So <laughs> anyway, guys, let's do this. Um, I'm 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 still thinking that maybe it's gonna be within the Valkyrie line still for next month because you know although Cheryl did come out first when the 7 star episode plate was introduced um, but ever since then it has been just flowing down the line of Valkyrie members so uh, let's just hope it just sticks to that pattern. So we do get a bit of uh, mediocre speed loading right there so I don't know that might just speak itself on what kind of luck we are expecting. Yep. 
Okay, we do get a 5 Valkyrie animation scene. So, oh, the red box on the first blink. And it still stays on one red box. That's just horrible. <laughs> maybe that red box might change. Or maybe, who knows, we'll get to see a silver box change to a rainbow version. Alright. Uh, Messer looking a bit dissatisfied. Uh -huh. Alright. Lots of the common boxes not changing. That's kind of a bummer. And here we go, the only red box. Hey! So no evolution to a 7 star, that's okay. At least we get a 5 star. Although it is nothing to do with Min Mei's new plates. So that's kind of a bummer. In fact, we didn't get any of them at all. So I guess I have to work pretty hard um, during this event itself. Because if I really want to unlock Min Mei's costume, um, Definitely, it's gonna be through the event episode plates that can be gotten uh, through the event itself. And of course, yes, the main reason why I'm not spending more because, well, Min Mei's costume is kind of unlockable through the event. Uh, but the main thing is the upcoming costume, which belongs to Freya, is only unlockable via Gacha Wall. So that's how you play smart with your Singing Stones, I suppose. Um, because especially for free to play players, you definitely need to have this in mind, um, considering that you are not able to spend your physical money on the game itself due to maybe region purposes, um, due to gift cards and all that kind of stuff. So anyway guys, uh, that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about the episode play itself? And yes, you can comment down below how do you guys do for your own personal pool. Maybe you want to tell me how horrible my own pool is. Yes, I know it's horrendous. <laughs> I, mean, it, I mean, I did get a 5-star play, but you know, it's not related to Min Mei's costume. And I didn't even get any spare plates for Min Mei's costume. So, episode ops is gonna burn right down the drain <laughs> for this costume, I suppose. But, uh, you know, considering that I used most of it in the last video uh, to unlock... Whose costume was it? I think it was Makinas, yeah. Uh, so yeah, anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video all the way to this portion. If you did, you guys are awesome. And leave a like to this video if you enjoyed my rambling once again. <laughs> and subscribe for more content just like this in the future where hopefully something better because you know the luck the luck flow for gacha games just go up and down like a roller coaster. You never know when it's gonna turn good. So until then guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!